This one looks like I'm a freaking criminal. Oh my god. I would freaking lock myself away. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Weasel, and today we're gonna unbox another monthly mystery box. Another geeky box from Geek Fuel with geeky goodness inside, as usual. Alright, let's see what the geeky goodness inside is. I always like the presentation with like the paper over it. Oh, yes. Quick preview and back. First thing that I notice is the Voltec Security Division Passport. I assume I can put my own image over there. That's why it says image not found. And use this as a, well, card. It's it's just a paper card. This card belongs to Voltec Security Division employee. If found, please return to somewhere in New Boston. And it comes in a regular little sleeve. I mean, that, that stuff you can get at Staples or somewhere. I don't know. Well, I gotta, gotta, gotta put a picture over there now, do, don't I? I don't even know if I have one. As luck has it, I always carry around a passport photo in my wallet. Actually, a few, because that's where I keep them in case I need them for, like, an application of a passport or something. This one looks like I'm a freaking criminal. Oh my god, I would freaking lock myself away. Seriously, I look, I look really unhealthy on this camera as well. And it doesn't stick because I don't have glue. It's, that's, but that's the idea, it's, it's... It's an ID badge. I'm, I mean, I'm obviously not gonna wear it. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna wear it, fine. W w wonderful. I, I bet that doesn't look weird at all. All right, next up, a little booklet. Ross Pitts, how video games are made. My 16 months inside the development of Defense Grid 2. Book excerpt and full downloadable video game included. Oh, sweet! Defense Grid 2 comes with this one. If you're really curious, it's like a dev block on paper. So if you're interested in game development, this might actually be a, a really nice little book to read about the game. And if you're into uh, tower defense games, Defense Grid 2 uh, is probably a fun title. I only played the first one, kind of enjoyed it. Let's go to the next item. It is a sticker of something that I don't recognize and I feel horrible about that. I kind of want to say I do recognize it. It's a bird holding an arrow. It's it's a, it's a bird getting shot by an arrow. It's it's a platypus. It's a flying platypus with 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 a spear. Okay, I guess I guess the flyer will tell me later. Man, gonna gonna make all the fans upset. Next up, we do have ooh, Ghostbusters the 30th anniversary playing cards. Let's check them out, shall we? Jokers. All right, there Pretty basic, the, the regular cards look pretty basic, which is nice. And then we have some ghosts and character illustrations for the different cards. Ah, Slimer, or I forgot what his name is. I think the German one is Slimer. Ah, oh, that's, that's a lovely one. Anyway, we got some playing cards, sweet. Over here you go. Next up in the box, I, oh wow, that is an interesting one. A Pac-Man salt and pepper pot. Or pepper pots. Salt and pepper pots. Pot pots pepper. Looks like you're pouring out their brain matter. Let's check out these guys. Well then, they look exactly as advertised. We got a little salt shaker here. Salt and pepper. Salt and pepper. I mean, they look they look kind of cute. Decorative. Only two ghosts. I wonder what Pac-Man then would do. Maybe maybe Pac-Man is a cheese grater or something. N n no clue. All right, you guys you guys come over here. The loot, the wall of loot. Next up in the box is, ooh. What is this? It's a poster and it's not folded up. <gasps> I forgot in which, which box last time they, they, they added a poster, which was folded up through the middle and therefore looked absolutely horrible because it had a fold. Oh, sweet. Oh, this is a good one, guys. It's hard, hard to keep unrolled. But this is a really nice print, guys. I really like this one. War never changes. We got a nice Fallout poster here. This looks really good, actually. I might have to, I might have to get a frame for that to put it up. That's a really nice poster, and I do appreciate it that they uh, roll it up, so it's in a roll and not uh, folded. This, this thing has to come off, come off now. I gotta get my mug face out of there. This is horrible. And I kept that for the end. T-shirt. All right, I'm gonna open this up. Just gonna, just gonna wear it right away. And we have a what? What am I looking at? It looks like a cutout for a model uh, plane. I want to say an X-wing. I actually don't know. Something, something Star Wars. Interesting. That's the second gray shirt. I wonder if they talk to each other. Hey guys, let's let's do a gray shirt this month. Anyway, um, yeah, it's 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 an interesting design. It looks like one of these plastic cutout sheets you get when you want to build your model. But other than that, I mean. I like it usually a little bit more colorful, but 
I guess it's not bad. I guess if you're into Star Wars and into models, you're gonna really love this. <laughs> and we get a little overview flyer, as usual. Pac-Man, salt and pepper shakers, Ghostbusters playing card, War Never Changes propaganda poster. Yes, how video games are made mini book and the download of a game. And are you the lone survivor? Actually surprised that there is no magazine in there. Yeah, I don't see... Nope. No, no magazine. Usually the Geek Fuel uh, box comes with a little a uh, a little magazine, a little flyer. This time apparently there wasn't one in my box, which is a big shame because actually uh, yours truly was featured in the Geek Fuel magazine there with a picture of my unboxing video. I mean, I got a picture right here. C Top actually unboxed one, and uh, yeah, that's what it's inside. So there you have it. I don't know why it wasn't in my box. Maybe they forget about it. Maybe they didn't want to show me. Who knows? Anyway, guys, if you want to get the Geek Fuel box yourself, monthly delivered to your doorstep, you can do so by clicking the link in the description below. And uh, if you order a box through that link, you will not only support this channel directly, uh, you will also get an extra retro magazine with your order. Uh, in any case, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. I'm Weasel. I'm out. And I hope to see you around. Bye-bye. Bum bum bum